Hello guys, before we go ahead with the news of today, I would like you to first of all watch this video and after that we can go on with the news of today. Will be presented here and I would then invite my counterpart Minister Pando to proceed with that portion of the program. Watch out, watch out. Let me be the president. Now that you have finished watching that video, I hope you understood why I wanted you to watch the video before we go ahead with the news of today. Nigerian President Hamed Tinibu was relegated to the back seat during the South African presidential inauguration ceremony that you can see there President Siri Ramaphosa ignores tribu during the presidential inauguration ceremony in South Africa in fact he was busy welcoming every other person dignitary and leaders who came to help him but he neglected your president Dinibu. in fact your president was given a back seat not only that he was given a back seat the south african president Ramaphosa ignored him. Even his wife, who wanted to go and greet the so called president of Nigeria, the South African president elect, took his wife out from the president of Tinibu. This is what you get when you rig election. This is what you get when you force certificate and become president of terrorist. What were you expecting? That Ramfosa we want to do anything with a man who forged certificate who rigged the election, pay millions of dollars just to rig the election, deny the people their mandate, use the judiciary to become a president, why the person who won the election was sent to the back seat today. Yeah, president was sent to the back seat. In fact, not only that he was sent to the back seat, he was ignored by the president of South Africa. The video cannot lie. The president of South Africa was greeting everybody. You can see what was happening there. Even the wife wanted to go and greet her so-called Tinibu. But the man took his wife away. That is to tell you that the effort that men do will always come for them. According to Gabriel Michael, he says, I quote, he even made sure his wife didn't greet Tinibu too. Ha 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 ha. 
Okoronko Binna said, Ahmed Tidibu is not a president, but a drug addict and a criminal. Why Otakago said, Mazi CN, Arumere. Thankful he has not seen anything yet. As long as they keep Nam the Kano with them, they must all crumble locally and internationally. You know, so many things happen there. If you watch that video very well, your president was actually disgraced, humiliated in South Africa. This is a man who is a president of the giant of Africa. What is she? They think say anything. What they saw, they no go feel it, pa. But they didn't say anything. What they saw, they repent because God exists. People carry themselves with themselves. Go Kenya, go kidnap man where they fight for freedom. Carry and come back. Keep him for jail for four years till date. Not even in prison yard. In DSS custody, one man said the plans they will take him. This one, a man will be say, na drug baron. If they find as it will take, implicate a man who they fight for the freedom of his people. That way, he can be able to get rid of him. But like we have always said, so far as they are still holding on the canoe, everything we they do will end in shame. Nothing will stop them. Not even any juju. So far as they are still holding on the canoe, they don't want to let them go. Anything will be said, did they do go they end up in shame now we talk um, and now so it go be because now they can not commit any crime against them it is say i'm forced no no say tribu stick even now the call custody when be say now freedom in the fight for not be say get and that way they do Man will not believe in people's rights. Man will not believe in referendum. You know, believe in human rights. Why will people respect you as a president? So, now be the cuckoo will happen as we speak. He was really disgraced that you have seen in that video. Even the wife of the president of South Africa. Wanted to greet him, but the husband came and took her, his wife away. He didn't even allow her to even shake him. He was neglected. Nobody knows if he exists there or not. And this is how he will remain. Until they do the right thing by releasing a man, they went all the way from Kenya to kidnap. Because why things that happen like the BC, Tinibu get hand. In the kidnap of Nam de Kano. If you don't know him now, now with Buhari Planam, and also Demma, and Devo Mahi, with Wiki, and them plan this thing where they smell so. If you don't know him now. So anything where they put their hand, now so, you will backfire them until they release a man who God has not caused. I think I've come to the end of this thing. Thank you so much for watching.